Today I'm going to show you a game where I did 2k damage. This map, uh, it's not <laughs> one of my favorites, but I'd have to say it's not a bad map. Uh, tier 4 game, tier 4, tier 3. But we we do end up losing still. I know. I'm gonna post a lot of losses. This is just the way World of Tanks and this game works is loss after loss after loss. But that doesn't mean my personal score is shit. Uh let's see here. I was the second to the last tank on my team to get blown to smithereens. But I still had a good time. This was this map I always have a problem with with it because of rockets. Usually I get hit with a rocket and I get pretty fucked up really quick. Some people already just know where to go. This was like my third time playing on this map, so I wasn't too familiar. I wanted to try the top, because I've never been up there before, and I usually see only a couple people go up there, and I kind of I kind of figured out why. <laughs> I do have kind of a bad time playing up at the top, but compared to the top part of the map and the bottom or the middle, the uh, top was kind of a bit better for me. It just, you'll see me have a problem with rockets. Again. But it is definitely a good sniper position. I wouldn't recommend going up in there with the main battle tank. People would probably uh, get on to you about it. But I just did it for trial and error because, of course, the first time I played on this map, I got one shot by a lot of tanks. They just... I came around the corner, didn't even say it. I was spotted, and the next thing I know, I was just dead. It's like I got hit with a couple of rockets. I know one of them was a rocket because it hit like 500 on me, so... It's pretty hard. This spot's really good for main battle tanks. Uh, only if I know knew how to aim that shot was my fault that is not the tanks fault and look I'm already getting shot by artillery which was a really bad thing for me up here yeah I really have to watch about artillery just laning you down especially if you're in a main battle tank because they will single you out rather than anybody else because you are a really big prime target kill and get off the map even if you are in a leopard one you can get spotted fairly easy from multiple ways but you can also shoot multiple ways and sometimes people don't pay attention to their their map of course i'm already getting shot at again by artillery i try to get out but sadly uh if i would just gunned it forward i didn't know what was going to happen i probably would get shot quite a bit so I just tried my luck and backed up. At least artillery in this game isn't a one-shot macro from World of Warcraft. You know, they just go boom and you're dead. But except the shot actually hits your tank and does little damage. But in World of Tanks, it doesn't even land in the same postcode as you. And it uh, one-shots you. I do have to say artillery is quite a bit better in this game. I could say, uh, maybe boost their damage up a little bit for a direct hit, but just, just, just a tiny bit. I do have to say, it's a little underpowered that I can take two shots like that, but when a tier 6 would shoot my tank above me, it, they would take out half my health. But, I mean, that's just my opinion. It is alpha, so I'm pretty sure things are going to get worked out, and I know a lot of you who watch it. I mean, not a lot of you, because of course I don't have a big channel. Off topic. <laughs> but, oh my god, how did that shot not go through? I think I was pretty mad about that. Personally. Let's see, I'm overmatching. 
Damn. Overmatch is kind of a hard thing for me to grasp. I mean, I, I know it's realistic, but when you come from a game like World of Tanks, where you don't have to worry about it, uh, yeah, it, it kind of throws you off a bit, and it's like, oh, I actually do need to switch ammo. For those guys who do nothing but premium, it's like, oh, well, I actually do. See there, I just got hit by a rocket, and totally fucked me up. Can you believe I survive for a long time? If you cannot, I'm sorry, but I do. And I do quite a bit of damage. This is where I start getting a little bit defensive, and I just go back to being a sniper. I'm not going to care about going over there anymore. I wanted to see if I could go forward and, and try to get in more sniper positions, but I soon realized that, no. You can't do that, you're just gonna fall off. I seen him coming around, I decided to go help the Artie. Yeah, and the, the TD, but when I actually get there, there will be no damage. I will be posting a lot of losing games, and I will be posting uh, what not to do in this tank, or, or the current tanks. I'm not just going to only focus on old tanks, but of course the new ones, because the higher tiers are what people are going to be really wanting to watch. But yet, yeah, for people who just come into the game, we're going to be like, oh, well that tank fucking blows chunks, so I'm not going to waste my time on it. Because this, this tank was kind of a grind, you do have to learn uh, parts on the map where you can just get hold down and just use that accuracy and, and your turret to do everything. I have been griped at because people say, oh, well, your symbol says main battle tank. And they, they're they probably in a destroyer. Well, yeah, I'm a main battle tank, but the Leopard 1 really isn't a main battle tank because you will not bounce at any shots. You will die very quick. There, there's no a way around it. The only thing that you got going for you is that gun. I don't know what it's like for the M60, but the M60, I sometimes the lever one cannot even penetrate the M60, which is the other tier three main battle tank from this faction. Which is is kind of annoying to me, but I think that we are just the lighter version of it because we have the the speed and we have probably more accuracy. I don't know about damage. I, I haven't really checked that out, but I do know we are faster than them. This guy, he could have easily killed me a long time ago, but he he was kind of pinned down and panicking, so I just decided to take it slow on murdering him. It's a three on three, no need to rush. I learned that from paintball. Right here, this scared the living crap out of me. If he didn't miss me, I would have been dead. Right here, I noticed he's hurt, so I'm just gonna come around the corner when he's not paying attention. And totally just smack him right in the fucking barrel, like a scrub. Right here, see, this was sketchy for me, because I was like, oh wait a minute, he's, he's looking at me. I'm fucked. Oh wait, no, no, that barrel. That barrel. So maybe if I didn't hit his barrel, I would have died sooner. But it's debatable. It's a two on two. My teammates do get mad at the Artie for not helping me. I get pinned. I do end up hitting him. But uh, I don't know if the Artie was able to shoot at him. I'm not going to get mad. I don't have his line of sight. So, I, yeah, right here, just, ugh. I didn't want to panic too bad. I got a good hit on him. That's all that mattered to me. I was like, maybe this artillery can kill him. But, probably not, which he didn't. He got ultimately murdered. He just dragged on the game and wasted a lot of time, which that made me pretty mad. But, that's just how it goes. 
2024. And that was also the game to get my upgraded tank. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thumb it up. Subscribe. I really need the help on the channel. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. I'll be making a lot more. Till next time, peace.